So that is the problem with when you standardize your product, the market can then benchmark it because um, customers are actually much more curious. They're actually wiser than you think that they are. So I'm, I'm trying my best not to move into the terrain of building offers. But if you want to get into the boutique kind of business, I'm hoping we get a session to talk about boutique. If you want to talk about graveyard, I think a lot of people may have already been burnt. And the re if you now think back, the reason you were burnt is that you started a business where the competition was dictating your, your price. So it limited your margin. And all of you were going to buy from the same place. It's like somebody that called before and said they're into the uh, plantain chip business. Plantain chips, clearly, you can see it's low margin. Yes. Because almost everybody is selling the same pack of plantain chips. And interestingly, they will put their 100 grams, 200 grams. So if I hold your own 100 grams, and I hold the other person's 100 grams, and it is a right plantain, why is your own 300 and this one is 150? There's hardly any convincing explanation. I will just go for the lower one because it's the same product. But if, if I'm offering something different, if right off from the packaging, from what I'm even calling the product, from the process that it went through, it is very clear. Also, for example, you're telling me that this one was fried in olive oil. I can see that the package size is bigger. So it's not 200 grams or 100 grams. It is much bigger. The packaging is different. Where you're selling it is, is different. I'm not seeing it in traffic. If you tell me that this one is 25 and this other one is 200, in fact, already I can, I can start to see why. Yes. If you tell me this one is healthier, this one is more organic, this one is sourced responsibly, there are a lot of things you can tell me. I'll be like, okay, okay. Even though it's the same plantain chips, I can see why I'll pay 25 for this and 200 naira for this. So this is a very important question. Before you start any business, will it make money? How do you know if it will make money? What's the margin? The margin is the difference between your selling price and your cost mm. and the volume. So what is the combination of this business idea? Is it high margin, low volume? Is it low margin, low volume, or any of the combinations I talked about?